Let's head over to Chef Mark, who's in the Beko kitchen today. We're making a beef bourguignon. Yeah, that's it. A classic bourguignon. French stew. Mm. So we've got beef in there, we've got Yum. bacon, Yum. we've got vegetables, and lots and lots of red wine. Oh, good. Another great winter meal. Great winter meal, yep. and uh, and a really cool way of thickening the sauce after, which is called a bourmanier. Okay, I'm nice. I'll show you how to do that a bit later. Okay, we'll do that very soon. Bonjour, Holly, and great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. Mark, we're making a French classic. We certainly are. Mm. A French stew. Nice, okay, Beef. good. Bourguignon. Yeah, man, the, the, re the ingredients you've got look fantastic. So what are we going to get underway first? Right, so we've got, uh, we got our beef here. Yeah. Uh, so this is chuck steak. Okay. So this is just, uh, you know, it's a, it's a cheaper, tougher piece of meat, but this is what you want because we're going to cook it for a long time. Okay. And we're going to get all the flavour out of it. So all we nice. want to do now is we're just sort of dicing it up. Yeah. Um, just into sort of nice pieces. Any excess fat or bits what we don't want to eat, we are taking off. Nice. Right, we've got a, a casserole pot there. Yes. Which we are getting warm now. It is put, nice and warm. Yeah, you can put a little bit of... Um, have you been drinking the wine? No, no, I just I just moved it out of shot. People, oh, okay, I was thinking right. people are going to think I'm drinking it, but I was just moving <laughs> it out of the shot. Right, um, so you can pop a, a little bit of oil in there. Yep. And then we're going to start browning the beef. Okay. Well, that's nice and hot. So yeah, nice and hot. You can see the uh, the smoke there. Pop it in. You want that sizzle. Don't overcrowd your pan. Okay. So this is what we want. And just keep stirring it around. Get a nice caramelization on there. Okay, cool. Got another pan as well. Mm -hmm. And I've got some bacon. So yeah. you, can, you can use little uh, rashes of bacon. Just cut them into nice cubes. You don't want to cut it too thin because we're going to cook it for a long time. Okay. You know, you could use a, a bacon hock or you could use one piece of bacon. You could do it into some nice cubes. You know, keep it nice and chunky. Okay, good. Right, bacon's in here as well, so you want to be turning this, stirring this one as well. So okay. you've got two pans to take care Ooh. of now. Oh, the pressure is on. <laughs> okay, great. Right, we've got some vegetables. So we've got some carrots, and you know, I'm not even going to peel them. You know, the really sort of fine peel on there. It's nice and clean. That's fine. You don't need to worry about that. And I'm just going to sort of slice them on an angle, sort of quite thick slices, and then that's all ready to go in. And then we've got some baby onions as well. So you can get these in the supermarkets now, these are great. And we're going to leave these whole, so all we've done with these, we've just peeled them. So if you can just shave the root off, but as they cook they'll get nice and soft, but they'll hold together. So I'm going to pop the onions in there, get a little bit of colour, and I'm going to pop the carrots in there as well. And I noticed, you're, you're, I know that was close, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, you were a chef and you left the, um, you didn't peel I it. left you in charge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're true. <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> what a fool. Um, no, 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 no but, um, the carrots, you didn't peel no, them. I mean, you can peel them if you want, but I mean, there's, you know, there's hardly anything there and it's, you know, it's all flavour. Okay, cool. Right, garlic cloves, so just, just crush them to peel them. You know, you can chop these up if you want or even leave them whole, you know, it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can see in there, so in the pan, you, you know, looks like you've made a right hash of the pan and you've burnt it, but you haven't. That is all flavour. Okay? Yeah, no, you're right. No, you're right, because <laughs> you seem to caramelise it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly so right. A little going. bit of tomato paste in there, and then just pop that in, and just we're just going to cook that lightly. Okay. And then you can deglaze it with the red wine. So okay, that means nice. throw all the red wine on there, it'll yep. boil up, and it'll clean the pan, and all that flavour will go in. Nice. Okay, things are smelling really good here. Okay, so is that enough of the broken up tomato paste, you reckon, or do you want a bit uh, more? Yeah, no, that's good. That's okay, good. cool. Yeah, I'll put the wine in there. Okay, sweet. All year quickly before I start burning things. Okay, great. Do you want the whole lot of Yeah, them? get it all in, yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a French recipe, so they do call for a lot of wine. And it's yes, a big bourguignon, so it's like a red wine stew. So, um, you know, we, we do want to cook it in a lot of wine. You know, it's going to cook for a long time, so the alcohol is going to be burnt off, but you're going to have this beautiful flavour. Some fresh thyme goes in there. Okay. And we've got some nice beef stock as well. So get that in there as well. Bring it all up to the boil. And then once we've got like a, you know, just a nice bit of colour on here, we can add it all to the pot. Yep. Jeez, you're, work, you're working me today, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, nice. This is good. And this will just simmer away nice. You don't need to keep yeah, stirring yeah. it. Yeah, no, so we'll, so we'll, uh, we'll pop that in there. Cool. So nice and carefully. Nice. You know, so... You know, look at all the flavours in there. Beautiful. Brilliant. Bring it up to the boil, turn it down. If you've got a lid, pop a lid on it and just either pop it in the oven so it just slow cooks all together or even just on the side of the stove if you want. Nice work. It smells Fantastic. delicious, doesn't it? Nice and rich as well. Oh, okay. it's going to be great. You know, you're going to get all those flavours in there. Everything's mm. going to be nice and tender. Uh, and then once that's sort of pretty much nearly cooked, we're going to take it out and then I've got a few other tips and tricks to do okay, cool. with the rest of the uh, stew to finish it off. Okay. Right now, though, we are about to finish off our bourguignon. I don't know. <laughs> 
whatever they call it, <laughs> stew. Uh, so th this has been brewing away nicely here. Yes, yeah, so let's have a look at that. Oh, no, now. Look, it's all over my top as well, which is unfortunate, isn't it? Thanks. So look, look. at this. So, so this is after about an hour and a half cooking, nice and slowly. You know, with the lid on, so we've still Whoa. got a good of a, a, a amount of stock, but that stock and wine and the, you know, there's so much flavour in there. Mm. All the vegetables are soft. The, the meat is just going to melt in your mouth. Right. So we, we're on to our next stage of finishing now. Before you finish that, can I just ask a quick question? Say it's been boiling down and you need to add more water to it. Do you ever do that, or should you just? No, 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 no. You can add more water to it because cool. it, the, the more you take it down, the more concentrate it's going to be. Okay, cool. So you can either add a little bit more stock, but even just water. There's so much flavour in that. You know, bring it back with a bit of water. You're still going to get amazing flavour. Perfect. Okay, you know? cool. So yeah, don't worry about that. Right, I'm going to save a little bit of butter. Yes. Just for something special in a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> It'll be fine right. on the chopping board. Uh, right, so this is how the uh, French uh, thicken a sauce. Oh, with butter so and cream, usually. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, true, yeah. But what we want to do is you've got some butter at room temperature. Yes. And we've got some flour, all right? Okay. And what you want to do now is you mix that in mm -hmm. and work that in. Wow, okay. Right, and then you, you, you get like this little paste, and that's called a bimani. Bimani, yeah. And then all you do is just take take little bits off, roll little balls, and you just pop it in, oh, okay. and then whisk it in. And then the butter sort of melts in, and the flour goes in, and that's how you can thicken something hot without getting lumps in it. Ah, mm. well, there you go. Yeah, they're quite clever, the French. That is fancy. Yes, they are. Very good looking, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, and we've got... Um, well, so some. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've got some butter mushrooms now. So, because we're going to put them in the stew and they're going to cook probably for about another sort of 10 minutes in the stew, you don't want to cook them too thin. So I've got okay. nice thick slices like that, okay? Okay, cool. I've got another pan on here yeah. and we're just going to saute them off. We're going to get a little bit of colour on them and then we're going to pop them in. Okay, nice. So is this the sort of consistency yeah, that's you're looking yeah, for? We'll, we'll put a bit more flour in there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, so we've got the pan on here. I'm going to start off with a little bit of oil, get it nice and hot. And then... Pop our mushrooms in. We'll get a little bit of colour. We'll finish it in a little bit of butter, and then all that is just going to go into the stew. Right. There you go. That's good. So take a little bit, yeah. roll it between your hands. Okay. Just small bit. Like right that. Smaller. Oh, even smaller. Yeah, just, okay, just cool. little bits because you can always add, you know. And it's and it's quite sort of instant to uh, probably half that size. Oh, even even yeah, smaller. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, well, good yeah, thing yeah, that's you showed it. me that. And then you can pop it in, and then you can just sort of stir it in, and sort of dissolve it in. Okay, okay. cool. So you do that, and then once God, that goes okay. in, it's going to be a long process. Isn't it? <laughs> it's not going to take a lot. <laughs> My <God. sighs> But no, but that's what makes it French. That's what makes it quality. Is that yeah. the right answer? Exactly. Okay, yeah. Try nice. everything once, and then knock it. <laughs> right, go, go a little bit more now. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll keep rolling. You look after that. So, how often would you add one of these? Well, so we're thickening. We're going through the thickening process now. Right. So, add one, stir it in, have a look at the stew. Um, if it's not thickened uh, to your liking, you know, add a little bit more. I mean, okay. you don't want it too thick either. So, you just want to small bits in at a time and you can control it. Control it. Okay. Can you speak yeah. French out of uh, curiosity? Oh, we. Oui. Oh, you can. That's all you can speak, isn't yes. it? Yeah. <laughs> I think I can order like two beers as well. I'm off to France in August, so I better. Oh, start I'll teach learning. you that phrase then. Oh, yeah. That'll be good. Nice. As well, long as I can order food, Mark, I'll be happy. Well, you can be fergin on. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> right. So the mushrooms. I got a little bit of colour in there. I'm going to pop some butter in there as well. It will just finish the mushrooms off. You don't want to cook them too long in here, because do remember they're going to go in there as well. How's your thickening going? Well, yeah, it's getting there. I reckon we can go a little bit more. OK, you good. You probably could have just put one big bit in like, yeah. Well, that's... <laughs> you keep saying it's just to show smaller. people. No, no, fair enough. And it's about the control, isn't it? Because it's easier to make it thicker than it is to make it thinner, isn't it? Because then you start Ex watering exactly. it down, you're losing flavour. Exactly. So you can see, and you're getting a little bit of a shine as well from it as well. Okay. You know, that's what yes. the French do well. They put butter in everything and it makes it shine. Nice. Mmm, this is smelling so incredible. You know, and then um, I do. I want to do a little bit more. Yeah, okay, we chef. How long? You know, we've. You know, you've obviously sped this up through TV. But how long would you yeah, normally so that, be? Yeah, so that's probably this? about an hour and a half. Just cooking really slow, or okay. in an oven, which cooks it even slower. I reckon once that's in, that's going to be really good. If you had a slow cooker. Yeah, if you had a slow good? cooker, you, you know, you could put this on before you went to work, or you know, three right. four hours. You know, however, however it sort of does. You know, it's just treat it as a stew. You know, the slower you do it. With the lid on, the better the flavour. You know, you know, you're reducing the sauce slightly, but you're not 
reducing it to thicken because we're using this method here. Okay, great. All right, mushrooms. Cool. Fairly happy with that. It's looking good. It's looking really good. So mushrooms go in, give it a stir, mm -hmm. just let it simmer for about another 10 minutes, and then we're just going to finish it with some chopped fresh parsley. Yes. And uh, serve some crusty bread on the side. And that is it. Bob's your uncle. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Some great tips there, too. And if you want the recipe and the tips, you want to go back and watch it, it's all at our website, along with a handy tick box ingredients list. Talking to lunch, Mark, is the perfect recipe to make tonight, and then you can take the leftovers to work. That looks delicious. Look at this. Just serving it up now. Finish it with a bit of parsley. Yep. And some crusty bread on the side. Nice work. Beautiful. That oh, looks yum. fantastic. Okay, what are you going to do tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got something special from the wife, the chicken oh. hot pot. A Paula Southern special. Mm -hmm. Nice.